Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. We eat a lot of potatoes here in the homestead. A lot. If it was up to me, <laughs> I could eat potatoes at least once a day, if not twice every day. I can have them for breakfast and I can have them for dinner. But Gina won't always let me have them. <laughs> well, I try not to. <laughs> that being said, we don't eat as much as I'd like to, but we also didn't grow enough for us on our homestead last year. We didn't have a good harvest. Not at all. No. So this year we want to grow a lot more and they took up way too much room in our greenhouse. Sorry if you guys are getting a lot of wind noise. It's pretty windy out right now. It'd be a beautiful day if it wasn't for the wind. So we don't want to plant them all in the greenhouse because we could fill up our whole greenhouse with potatoes. So we're going to be planting potatoes. We're going to do two rows on this side of the greenhouse. And if we have enough seed potatoes left over, we're going to do two rows on that side of the greenhouse. I think we should because I went a little overboard when I ordered seed potatoes. <laughs> we have really rocky soil here. This is why we're trying to grow the potatoes the way we're doing it here because anywhere you look, you're gonna be getting rocks like this, if not bigger, in our area. Those are little ones. Those are little ones. <laughs> we need to grab the Kubota so we can make some garden beds for our potatoes. depending on which side you see the pile from. It looks either smaller or bigger. It looks bigger from this side. This pile of sandy loom is left over from when we built our greenhouse last year. This is the soil we put inside and then added a bunch of compost to it. All right. goal with this isn't to be able to hill the potatoes with all this loom. I just want to have enough loom over here to get our potatoes planted and then we're going to be putting straw on top of them. But I want to rake it out right now and see if we have enough for this one row if I need to get 
one more bucket load or not. It's gonna make a good first throw. Yeah. Got some good potato growing this year. We we'll just have to find a place to store them all come fall. Right. It's making me want home fries. You want to go like right here? Yep. We'll be moving this chicken coop in a little bit. We'll be moving it back down by the bond and using it as our chick brooder, but. While it's right here in our way, I can't get the tractor over here. We're just gonna hand shovel everything for a few minutes. I met an old man. I said, tell me your story. He took out a notepad. And wrote something for me. Walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote I feel bad I'm not doing a very good job piling it up for you You're not The bucket's not narrower now Trying to keep it kind of straight. I know. You're doing good. I said, son, when you grow up, you'll be fine. I know you've got questions on your mind. Life is gonna happen one way or the other, whether you like it or not. Stop looking for the answer. What did I do? Bring you over a dinosaur egg? What did you bring me? I oh. tried to break it, but it didn't work. It won't break. I don't know what that is. Oh. It's dirt. Yeah. Oh, the worms in it. Oh, it's frozen still. Oh, it's frozen? I think so. Yeah, it's frozen. Wait, what's that? In the middle of the pile? No, it's the top. Leave it out in the sun, it'll defrost. And you'll find you've got We have all of the soil laid out for our rows. We have four 50 foot rows. We're gonna space our potatoes every foot apart in each row. So we're gonna need 200 seed potatoes. So we're gonna go through today, see how many we have, and if we need to cut them up, so we'll have enough pieces. Um, first in here we have, these are butter balls, German butter balls. These ones are our Irish cobblers. They all have really good eyes. 
I have a bunch of Yukon Gold. Your favorite. I love Yukon Gold. These are Australian Crescent. And then we have some red potatoes in here. These are Norland Reds. So we got a few of those. Yeah, yeah, we probably got like 20. We could probably do half a row of Norlin Reds, which I think would be perfect. Yep. We don't have that many ready. Right cut the Yukons up. We'll put them in that box. So we have an eye there and an eye here. We didn't cut them last year, did we? Nope. We have enough seed potatoes. We normally don't cut them, but this year we don't have enough. That'll be good. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting and leaving a couple of eyes. So then it looks like we have plenty of all of our other varieties. We don't need to cut them. Yeah, they look like you have a ton. We have a ton. So we're going to let these potatoes hail and dry up overnight. We're also going to let our soil warm up today. So we'll see you guys in the morning when we plant them. Good morning. It's not quite a frost, but it's pretty chilly this morning. It's 37 degrees outside. Hasn't been this chilly in a little while. It's gonna be nice though. It is, it's gonna warm up, but I was surprised. I had to put my winter hat back on and my vest on this morning. You got your coat on. I do. I'm trying to tough it out. Good morning, ladies. We're getting surrounded by all sides. I'm not complaining about the temperatures They're actually warmer than we normally are, but we've been spoiled the last week. So to wake up to 37, it's kind of like, oh man. And I know there's a lot of you that watch that are in a lot colder climate still that have a lot of snow. I feel your pain. We're lucky this year and all of our snow is already melted. I can't wait to get these potatoes in the ground and get our potatoes growing. The pigs are still sleeping. I guess they don't want to come out this chilly morning either. You waking girls? We're gonna be putting out a poll on the community tab of our YouTube channel in a day or two for piglet names for the two girls. We haven't come up with any yet, but we've been going through and taking the suggestions that we like the best and we're gonna put a poll of it. So keep your eye out for that. You want some alfalfa buttercup? You say no, you want the sunflower seeds? I say that's not what you want. That'll be in a few minutes. Do you want some alfalfa? You want alfalfa there, Hope? I can't even talk this morning, missus. You brought you little pea. You gonna get some? You know, this is for the goats. You ladies already had your breakfast. They don't seem to mind. I feed little P and Hope in the front stall every morning because they're pregnant or Hope's pregnant. Little P was supposed to be, but she's not. But we've been letting her stay up front with Hope anyway, so that's why they get an extra breakfast. You better hurry up before the chickens eat it all. It's warmed up a little bit. Sun feels nice. We let our potatoes sit overnight that we cut up in halves that had the eyes on him. 
and they're actually dried up pretty good. They've shriveled up overnight. They're not wet anymore. They got a little bit of a filament on them. That's perfect. We had to do that to our red potatoes and to our Yukon Golds. These ones are looking just as good. Looks like a chicken had been over here. You can see a bunch of... Chicken? Now that we're in the shade, I wish I still had my winter hat on. I'm going to dig right down to the hard packed soil of ours. Take one, the eyes up, boom, and then just go like that. We're not done, we still have a couple more steps we're gonna be doing after we get them all planted. planting them about a foot apart and they're about I'd say four to six inches in the ground but we are gonna be coming behind and doing a couple more things so Big old hard dinosaur egg. Oh, oh it was just frozen. <laughs> that was not breaking apart yesterday. No, it was not. That's where I was thinking. One variety planted. <laughs> We're going to plant the German butter balls in this row right here. I need to sharpen my knife. I use it for too many things I'm not supposed to. We have plenty of seed potatoes, so we're not going to cut these ones. That's a little too close. We're gonna have a lot of potatoes this year. We still have two more rows to plant. Let's get the Yukon Gold planted in this row. Why do you like even better? I just think they have a really good flavor. What's your favorite potato to eat? I like Yukon Gold. I think they make a really good mashed potato. I think they taste really good roasted. In the pellet grill, they taste really good as home fries. I find it's very versatile. You know you what like, my favorite is? You like the reds. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. <laughs> I do not like 
the texture of sweet potatoes. That's my issue with sweet potatoes. I am a very picky person when it comes to textures of food. You're so much better than you were. Oh yeah, but I don't know, I just, textures get me. Are you going to pull cheese in? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Oh, a little checked on our bees the other week and they did not make it over winter unfortunately and we didn't order any new beehives in time this year so we're not going to have any bees this year it's a bummer. it is a bummer big disappointment we never got honey out of them last year we let them keep all their stores that they had throughout the winter so it would feed them but they didn't make it Again someday. We will. I'll have to get bees next year probably. We got pretty excited earlier spring because we seen some honeybees flying around and we were hoping that they were ours, but if they were, it was the last of them. Yeah, that wasn't. Because we don't have any now, unfortunately. Honeybees in our area are very hard to overwinter. So we got a new breed this past year, the Saskatchewan. We were hoping that was going to work, but it was a, we had a really bad drought last year, yeah. so I'm assuming that drought didn't help the bees. Because there's a drought, there's not as many flowers out there, there's not as much pollen, there's not as much, much nectar, so the bees can't gather as much food as they can in a good year. So I'm sure that didn't help them last year. All right, let's get our last row planted. We're going to be fertilizing our potatoes with bone meal. Bone meal is really good for root vegetables and potatoes. It helps them develop their roots. And with like potatoes, ooh, that's dusty. If you fertilize them with the wrong fertilizer, they're going to grow bushy and they're not going to grow a lot of potatoes. They don't like a lot of nitrogen. The wind's doing all the work for me. Bone meal is supposed to really help out quite a bit with blossom end rot. So when we plant our tomatoes this year, I'll have to make sure we put some of this right around the soil as we're planting. So we're gonna be growing our potatoes in this topsoil and we're gonna be putting a lot of straw on top of it throughout the season. So today we're gonna to put probably about six inches of straw on top of each bed and then we're gonna put them in the walkways. And then as these plants start growing throughout the season, we can add more straw to it as needed. 
because when the potatoes are growing, they start setting tubulars, and if they get exposed to the sun, they turn green, and you're not supposed to eat green tomatoes. So as they're growing and the potatoes are growing, we're gonna be needing to add more straw to cover that up so they don't get exposed to the sunlight. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. the other two rows done and then we'll come back and we'll water all the straw in so that way it'll keep it from getting blown around. Better get this watered in before the wind picks up and blows it around. I'm glad it's not as windy like it was yesterday. Tonight I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to wrap bacon around my pork chops as they cook. I'm going to put the bacon in the oven for about 10 minutes. I'll keep an eye on them before I put them around the pork chops because I read that you will have raw bacon if you don't do the steps. So if you've done this before, let me know if you have a trick. It sounds like it will be really good, but I want to make sure everything is cooked.
Don't know if you can believe it or not, but we've never had bacon wrapped pork chops before. They were delicious. That's something we're definitely gonna have to do again. Have you guys ever had bacon wrapped pork chops? Leave it in the comments down below. And what else do you like to wrap in bacon? We like eating bacon with breakfast, but we've never wrapped too many things with it. So we'll have to try and experiment with some more things. Feels good to have all these rows of potatoes planted. We planted over 200 seeds. It'll be interesting to see how our harvest goes this fall. I'm hoping we can harvest over 300 pounds, but time will tell. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Share the video. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.